Hello everyone, it's Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a July, mid-July wrap-up. I keep getting, it's always never in my head, but July wrap-up. Uh, I will be doing an end of the month July wrap-up. I read about maybe 18 books this so far, so it's quite the, the bunch if I can say. But yeah, I read it and I'll also, if I did a review or video on it, it will be down in the description box below to save time for this video. Uh, I will not get in depth into these, uh, my reviews on it in this video. So if you guys want to go check out the video or uh, review, it will be down in the description box below. So the first book that I read was Thomas Wildest and the Book of Sorrows. This is book one of the Alandrian Chronicles by J.M. Bergen and this is a middle, gr middle grade fantasy and I gave this a review. Uh, I rated it four stars and my review will be down below. The next book I read was Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McKeeston and I rated this four stars. It's a enemies to lovers romance. Uh, it's a male male enemies to lovers romance and it was so cute. I rated it four stars. I also did a video on it so if you guys want to go check it out it will be down in the description box below. And let's go to the next page because this started on the second page because it hates me. Uh, the next book that I read is David, David, ugh, sorry David. <laughs> I read David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and I'm rating this three stars. I feel like I could not rate it because my level of classics education is so less. <sighs> See, there you go, so less, there you go, that's why. Uh, but I just, it's 800 pages um, well, it's 715-ish pages, and I feel like I, it was good, it was good, and, but for me, I feel like I couldn't rate it, I couldn't review it, so I just rated it only, uh, just three stars. Yeah, I mean, it was okay, I liked it, it was enjoyable, but, uh, that's all I'm gonna say about this book. The next one I read was Burn Before Reading by Sarah Wolfe. And this is a Enemies to Lovers Young Adult Contemporary. It was good. I rated it four stars. And uh, I technically have a review on it. It's a Goodreads review. So I just wrote my review on Goodreads. And uh, I'm just going to leave that down below because I think I can explain it better than what I what is about to come out of my mouth. So I rated it four stars. It was pretty good. Uh, the next book I read was actually an audiobook. It's called The Real Shirt Sherlock by Lucinda Hoxley. It is an audible original and it was informational. It's about Arthur Conan Doyle and his own life basically so it was very informational and I rated it three stars. Nothing too in depth you know so I enjoyed listening to it. It was very quick, shockingly quick and I enjoyed it. It was nice. The next book that I read was Sing Like No One's Listening by Vanessa Jones and my review is actually going to be up when it pub publishes so I think that's September, October but my review is not up yet. So quickly I'll just say I rated it three stars. It was nice. It was very interesting to read and I will post the link when it publishes down below for you guys to check out so if you guys are like wow this is gonna take forever it really is it's gonna take a long time because it i'm opening the link right now it open it publishes not opens on september 1st so in two months um my review will be going up i think august 29th i believe so soon so what i'll do is put that down below when it actually goes up live and for you guys to check out. The next book I read was A Bright Particular A Bright Particular Star by Ila Christian Christian Christian. In my head I say Christian because it makes sense. But now that I'm saying it out loud it doesn't. But it is book two of the Verona saga and I received an arc 
Also, Sing Like No One Listening by Vanessa Jones. I received an art from Neck Alley. Thank you, Neck Alley. A Bright Particular Star. I got an art from Ela Cristeon herself. So thank you so much, Ela. I also got book one. Book one's review, both the reviews uh, will be linked down below. I rated both three stars. I feel like I'm not connected with it yet to give it four stars. It, her writing is beautiful. I really enjoyed it, but I just haven't connected it with yet with it yet. So I think I'm definitely when she comes out with the next book, I think it's already out, but when it comes out, I hope I connect it more. I think I still think her writing is really good and I enjoy the story. It's like it's a Shakespeare re retelling. Uh, the first book was definitely on Romeo and Juliet. A Bright Particular Star, uh, I think it's just a continuing of it, but it was good and I enjoyed it. Three stars, but hopefully the third book I give four or five, uh, but still good all in all. I really enjoyed it. The next book I read was Blunt Force by Linda LaPlante and I gave this one two stars. It's a mystery. This is an adult mystery and I have a review going up soon when it publishes so I will also link that down below. I give it two stars. I just, ugh, I didn't connect it with it at all. I thought it was just too much for me and I, like I said down in the description box below, I just didn't connect with it a lot and I also received this from Neck Alley so thank you Neck Alley but yeah it just didn't connect with me very much. The next book I read was The AI Who Loved Me by Alyssa Cole and this is actually an Audible original and I enjoyed this. This was also an Audible Escape book that I read as well and this deals with people of color and Asian representation. She is very interesting. Um, very interesting. I think I read- I rated this four stars and very interesting. It deals with robot technology and things. This is like in the future but basically our hero Li Wei, he's- he- He's so advanced that he blurs the line between man and machine. There you go, that's from the blurb. But Trinity basically has a new neighbor. Uh, her neighbor's nephew's name is Li Wei, and they form a love. And very interesting. I thought I was going to give this a three star, gave it four. It was actually pretty interesting. And my first time reading robot or anything advanced technology. So it was interesting. And uh, yeah, I gave it four. Very, very interesting. <laughs> The next book, I did a reading vlog on it, and it is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I gave it four stars. Um, very good. I did a reading vlog on it, so that will be down in the description box below. Yeah, I liked it. I s enjoyed it. Uh, didn't give it five stars. For some reason, I just didn't get the hype of it all. This is definitely an original romance, and it was very nice, but uh, more down below. Yeah, you'll see my reaction, I guess. Uh, but that was all for my actual physical copies that I read. Next book I read, and I think this is my first five star of the month so far. Uh, I like how I gave up saying when I read it, but yeah, I've given up. The next book I read is The Paris Library by Janet Skeslian Charles. Uh, and I loved it five stars. If I could give it 10 stars, I'd give it 10 stars. When this comes up, comes out, I'm 100% buying this. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. It is a historical fiction. Very good. It's about World War II. My voice. It is, it has two time periods. Uh, what time periods? I do not remember. It is part of my Neck Alley Arcs video. I also did a review on it. My review is already up, so if you guys want to go see my review, it'll be down below. But very good, five stars. Loved it so much. I would definitely buy this for myself. Thank you so much, Neck Alley, for this arc because I loved it. It's so good. If you guys want to check it out when it comes out, I totally recommend it. It's just so good. I like how every video I do is just me drinking a cup of coffee. Part of my Paris library thing, I actually did a Neck Alley arc video where I just go through a lot of my Neck Alley arcs that I have not read and it's just me trying to catch up with all my like feedback reading, reading. so 
I still don't have a high enough rating. I still have like maybe five books I still need to read, but I have a whole video of me reading these books. Uh, most of these reviews will be up when the video, the book actually releases. It's recommended one week before publication date, so that's why I'm holding off, but I do talk about it in my Neck Alley Arcs video. Yep, cool, 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 cool. The next book I read was recommended for you by Laura Silverman, and it is also a Neck Alley Arc, so uh, my review will not be up yet because I think this comes out in September, sometimes September, but I rated this four stars. Very cute, very cute. It's a Christmas romance, and it was... It uh, deals with a girl who works at a bookstore and a guy who starts working at a bookstore and it's not it's not an enemies to lovers but it's definitely hate to love. Not full on enemies because they meet each other for the first time but it's so cute, very enjoyed it. Very enjoyed- yeah that makes sense, yeah totally. The next book, so good, so amazing, Ties That Tether by Jane Igaro five stars for me. It is also part of my Neck Alley Arcs video and I rated this five stars because it was so good. It talks about people of color, talks about just diversity, cultural traditions, and moms that aren't fully... I talk a lot more about it in my review and my video so I want to get too into, into it but it was such- it gave out a strong message and I really enjoyed it so when it comes out I totally recommend that you guys check it out too. The next book I read is- it is The Way You Tempt Me by Ellie Wright and it is part of the Pure Talent book one and I rated this four stars. So cute, so cute. It is a friends to lovers and very much enjoyed it. The Way You Tempt Me, very good. It deals with sports. It's like a sports agency, so it's not full-on sports, but it deals with people of color. I very much enjoyed it. Very cute, very nice. Uh, I loved how they were friends first, and it was so nice to read, and I liked it. I liked it. It was very nice. Yeah, my voice is like, <laughs> That was the weirdest sound ever. Okay, and the next two books, I'm kind of skipping over what I actually read so I can finish this Neck Alley Arcs uh, video section that I'm talking about, but the next two books I read, the first one is Tarina by Ellen Alpston. It is a historical fiction, uh, it has some romance in it. I gave this three stars. Man, I, do I wish I gave this four or five. <sighs> There was just- there's a lot of trigger warnings for it. I talk about it more in my video, so if you guys want to check it out, I also have a review down in, down below. Um, yeah, I just- it didn't connect with me as much as I would have liked to. The next book is Witch of the Wild Beasts by Katherine Stein, and I actually finished this yesterday. Give this three stars. It is a middle grade, but it's also young adult. I think I want to see- Honestly, for me, it sounded very middle grade, but I rated this young adult because perhaps it might be more young adult, but it is a historical fantasy. So it deals with the rich trial, rich witch trials in the 1860s something. I don't know what year it was in 1854. That's right. I also have a review on it. So if you guys want to go check it out, it'll be down below. Most likely be doing it uploaded tomorrow, I believe. I scheduled it because I finished the review, but also part of my Neck Alley Arcs, or Arcs. This is my last book for the Neck Alley Arcs, so yay! But the video, not the actual Arcs. I still have so much. The next book I read was not part of my Neck Alley Arcs, but it is a Neck Alley Arc, so thank you, Neck Alley. I got- it is In Real Life by Letitia Sala, and it is an English- to English Spanish novel in poems. It was good. I enjoyed it. I actually gave it three stars though. It is a second chance romance. It talks about long distance relationships and it was interesting. I actually got this probably beginning of June, but because this didn't have a send to Kindle a button on NetGalley, if you guys know what I'm talking about, I couldn't read it, but NetGalley released an app, so thank you NetGalley. I was finally able to read this book and give it an actual review. My review is up 
I believe. So it will be down in the description box below. My next book is The Switch by Beth O'Leary and this is a Nat Galley, Nat, Nat, I always say Nat. <laughs> My camera just moved because I kicked it, sorry. But The Switch by Beth O'Leary is a Nat Galley arc and this is the first audiobook that I checked out and it was good. I gave it three stars. I also have a, have a review on it. Um, it's not up yet, I believe, but uh, it was interesting. It's like a, it's like switching, if that makes sense. I think this is a republish. Uh, I don't know, but it was good. Three stars. Uh, I do more in my review, so check that down below. And that is it for my mid july wrap up i technically read more but i'm holding those books off because those are part of a series that i am still reading right now so i'm going to do a wrap up on the whole series because i like to be neat and i like to be organized so i'm gonna do it all together yeah that is it for my wrap up but thank you guys so much for watching what did you guys read so far in july comment that down below if you guys want to check out any of these books or if you guys already read it did you guys like it do you guys hate it let me know down below in the comments i would love i'd actually love to know so thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this video uh, hit that red subscribe button for more book content and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye!